putting hogs on the mind, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven. What's good, Ravens fam? So let's just get straight to it. So, um, Lamar Jackson. Um, so Dan Orlovsky, you know, gave him some love. He said he believes he's going to be the MVP this season. Now and the guy who I do think is going to win MVP is in Baltimore. I think Lamar Jackson is going to absolutely flame the NFL this year. They added Tyler Linderbaum at center. Lamar's finally healthy off of that injury last year. Rashad Bateman in year two. They got three tight ends in Mark Andrews, Nick Boyle, and Isaiah Likely, who's a rookie for them, that are going to play awesome football. That's the strength when Lamar is at his best with those multiple tight ends in the field. I think he's going to have an even better performance than he did in his 2019 MVP season. Now, you look at what weapons the Ravens have uh, right off the back. They're very young, okay? They're very young. Not too, too much experience, but you can always catch the lead by storm, so you never know. We have Rashad Bateman, chip on the shoulder. Mark Andrews, my opinion. Some people are going to say I'm biased. Best tight end in the league last year. Look at the stats. Um, and that's without a lot of games without his starting quarterback. Also, uh, you know, he has Isaiah Likely. He's going to be a monster offensive rookie of the year. Soon to be. Um, then, you know, you have, uh, like I said, uh, Bateman. You have D-Rob. He's going to be out there. Now, with a chip on the shoulder, J.K. Dobbins. I can just go on and on about that. But this year, I believe, is going to be his monster year. And then on top of that, the other thing about Lamar that happened today was, you know, he's negotiating with that contract talk. We don't know if he's going to play week one, but he likes some very interesting things. One, he said, uh, Ravens didn't offer him no 250 guaranteed money. They did not offer him that. He put that in a, a reply from a tweet from someone saying they offered him that. He replied, no, they didn't. But, and I'm like, what did they offer? A lot of people asked that. What did they offer? I believe my homie Cole Jackson asked him that. What did they offer? And we yet to know what they offered. But, the man needs to get paid. We know this. Now he liked the picture um, of him in a you know Miami uniform. That picture been out for so long, but he liked it. To me, that's a negotiation tactic. Because the smart thing is just give this man a blank check. Give him what he wants. He is the Ravens' offense. He is what it is. We never, the Ravens never even got spoken about this much in the media when Flacco was a starter. So, that is just ridiculous. MVP 2019, you know, things such as that. He steps out of the game last year with injury. We never win a game again. We was the leading in the AFC when he was there. And we had a terrible offensive line, depleted defense, so many injuries. Give him a blank check. And it's like, come on. You, you know that man is that good. What? What? It's nothing, it's nothing to come off that, you know. But this is a negotiation. Uh, to me, it's all a negotiation. Russell Wilson actually did the same thing, if I'm correct. When he was with the Seahawks, he started liking pictures of him. And when he wanted the money, he started liking pictures of him. And I believe it was Oakland Raiders or something like that. And next thing you know, they come around, they give him his money. Ravens need to go ahead and give this man his money. I believe it could happen this week. Where the breaking news he signs, or he could have already 
they could have been like, hey, this is the match you want. Okay, agree, just come and sign it. He hasn't signed it yet. He feels like playing with the media for right now. He let them know, hey, I'm going to sign it. I know y'all are busy right now with the cuts and everything. I'm going to sign it. I'm just going to mess with the media. So we don't know. You know, some people, Lamar needs an agent. Nah, he good. He good. Now, like I said, Ravens, $250 million guaranteed. Not bad. $300 million guaranteed. Not bad. He's going to break that record, in my opinion. I believe he's going to break that record, be the highest paid quarterback. But, what y'all think? I like I like the little game, you know, Lamar is playing because uh, he's going to be a Raven for life. It's, it's just set in stone. I don't see anything other than him being a Raven for life. I can't. I'm just like, even right like now, I'm just scrolling, looking at his likes and everything. And the man is playing, the man is playing, you know, he's playing chess. Other people are playing checkers. He's playing chess. He's his own negotiator. And this is, this is how negotiating does nowadays. At least he didn't go to Kyle Mary route or the Hollywood route, delete all the Raven stuff off his Instagram. He didn't even go that route. Which to me is, hey, that's how they do it these days. I'm old school. That's how they do it. I like the way, actually, the way Lamar is doing it. I'm just going to like some pictures and comment here and there on certain things just to get it out there. Because anything I like is going to be news. Anything I comment is going to be news. It's going to be retweets. It's going to be everything. Uh, it's going to be on Undisputed. It's going to be on... What's that uh, uh, first take? It's going to be on all of them networks. FS1, ESPN. It's going to be all of them. Engraving Network, shout out to the fam. It's going to be on all of them. Because he knows we have to talk about it. Because he is that be He is that man. It's just like the ball is in his court. So the Ravens just need to say, Steve Bichotte and he say, Lamar, here's a blank check. Fully guaranteed written on there. You put the price. You won't bam. You put the price. We're just going to give the okay. Let's keep this ball rolling. We can already be pre-building your statue out there with Ray Lewis statue. Need to be a Reed statue out there as well. But that's another topic. Need to have that as, out there too. Hey, we can present you and Ed Reed statue at the same time. <laughs> we can go ahead and knock that out. But on the real, what y'all think? I like it. I like it. It's going to be interesting. We got the cuts and we got Lamar. Man. Man. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Hit that share. Everybody stay safe. God bless.